hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this reddit logo animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of adobe photoshop so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> okay so here we are in photoshop i have this reddit logo over here you can easily get this logo from google now first thing we need to do we need to create this white background so for that i'm going to choose my eraser tool and i'm going to choose magic eraser tool and i'll simply click on it so it will automatically remove this background then i'll remove this white portion and this white portion and this white portion also also i don't want this orange circle over here so i'll simply click on this one also so it will remove this circle and if you see uh, it still has that what we call uh, stroke so to get rid of it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select my lasso tool like this and then i'm going to select this much portion only and then i'll press ctrl x then i'll create a new layer and i'll press ctrl shift v and i'll call it as logo and simply hit ok and now we need to separate these portions also so i'll select this r i'll hit control sorry select this hit control x to cut it out create new layer press control shift v to paste in place and let's call this as r and same procedure we will follow for this e also let's select this hit control x create new layer press control shift v then select this then select this t hit ctrl x create a new press ctrl shift v and let's hide this so as you guys can see only the one layer with this small stroke is remaining so now i'm going to delete this layer like this and now if you see all of these things are on the separate layer so now press ctrl s to save this file now let's go to the Adobe After Effects and let's create a new composition. I'll call it as May Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180 and frame rate is 30 only and background color is white and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Safe Action. Then press Ctrl I on your keyboard to select your Photoshop file. I have this Reddit logo Photoshop file over here in Import as I'm going to choose Composition, Written Layers and Sizes and simply hit Import and hit ok and simply double click on it to open this thing and hit ctrl a to select all of them hit ctrl c to copy go to main animation and hit ctrl v like this right click new create one null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one select this null one press s and let's scale it like this okay so i'll adjust those things over here like this and now i'm going to create one ellipse and i'm going to create something like that with this color only and then press ctrl alt o and hit u and let's select this shape layer and bring this downwards like this let's move this over here like this okay so this is how uh, it's gonna be so let's delete this null object right now and now i'm going to press ctrl r to create this ruler and i'm going to create one line from here and one line from here so now i can understand that this is my final position of this particular logo and now we have to focus on the animation of this one so i'll hide all of them except this shape layer which is this and press s and let's increase the size of it somewhere around like this okay and let's lock this now as you guys know that we have to focus on this one then i'll bring one from here uh, line for, and one from here so to understand the proper uh, placement of this one at the end of the animation so let's select this logo press p for position and let's bring this initially properly in the middle like this okay now right click new and create one null object hit enter and let's call it as hook sorry uh, we don't need that control 
hit enter and let's call it as hook and okay zoom in a little bit let's make this full resolution so you can see properly and now i'm going to move this hook at this point okay so we will get something like this now let's select this logo and then i'm going to press p for position let's create one keyframe over here go zoom in a little bit go to 20 frames and create another keyframe go to the start and initially by holding shift i'll bring this over here select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift and move this handle over here and this handle over here right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph only so we will get this falling animation now when this is gonna touch this i want this should be rotated so i'll select this hook i'll press r and create one keyframe i'll go to 1.10 frames and i'll rotate it to let's say but before that we need to select this logo and we need to make it parent with this hook otherwise it's not gonna work anything so now let's rotate it at this point let's make this minus 90 maybe and select those keyframe and hit f9 and at two seconds i'll select this first keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v like this let's go over here and let's rotate it a little bit more like this now select those rotation keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this metal graph by holding shift move this one over here and this one over here select this handle move this one over here select this handle move this one over here like this so if you see we'll get something like this now let's select those keyframe by holding alt i'll reduce the duration of it okay now from this points i want this should start to change the position of it so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create one keyframe at position and one keyframe for rotation like this hit u uh, let's go somewhere around 2.20 frames select this move this one over here like this create and in middle of it i want this should be over here like this okay as you guys can see this looks weird now so let's fix it uh, and i also want the rotation animation so i'll make one complete rotation maybe like this let's select this and bring this a little bit up also now select those position keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this middle graph holding shift move this one over here this one over here select this move this one sorry little bit over here select this and move this over here yeah like this okay and now we will select those rotation keyframes we will hit f9 i will go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here like this but if you see this quite looks weird so for that what we can do we'll go over here and we'll change the x position of it a little bit like this and let's go over here let's select those keyframe again go to the graph editor select this graph zoom in a little bit and we'll move this totally up to here like this and if you see over here we can see these handles if you want then you can move these handles like this also okay let's go to the start select this move this handle over here and whenever you are going to touch this graph you will get this handle so let's move this like this one also okay let's go over here and select this keyframe so we can see these handles also and you can adjust this handle like this so now if you see we will get something like this let's see this animation from the start we will get something like this and something like this now what we need to do we need to select those hook keyframes and we will start not from here but from here so i'll move those keyframes over here only so it will start like this and we'll select this position and rotation keyframe of this one and we'll move this a little bit before this last keyframe like this 
okay and if we enable so not this but motion blur so we'll get something like this let's move this over here only because this looks good or let's move this over here okay now from this to this i'm gonna select the shape layer press s let's create one keyframe go over here and let's make this 100 select those keyframe and hit f9 so we'll see something like this and you can move this a little bit over here like this let's shift this over here select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph holding shift let's move this a little bit over here so it will come down a little bit slow okay uh, so this animation is done now let's select this logo and its hook and i'm gonna move this uh, downwards and we will lock this stuff because this animation is done now we have to focus on this remaining logo so this is this and if you want you can simply bring this downwards so it will come from this and if you want then you can start to animate from this one also so let's move this over here and we can bring simply one position animation so simply press p create one keyframe let's hit u select these things and hit u create another keyframes go few frame forward create another keyframes let's select those position keyframes let's move this over here now let's go to the start select all of them and bring them at the top and in middle of it i want this should be a little bit upward then downwards now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph zoom in select this graph holding shift let's move this over here select this holding shift let's move this over here like this select this holding shift move this one over here select this hold shift move this over here okay let's select this and move this over here now hit page down button two times select this and we will adjust it like this sorry so it will come down randomly and hit u and select all of them and also enable this motion blur for everyone and if you see this animation now we will get something like this and press ctrl y to create a solid background there and we will move this over here then we will select all of them and we will press ctrl shift c to pre comp i'll call it as animation and simply hit ok and hit ok go over here press s create let's make this one one zero initially create one keyframe and i'm gonna go somewhere around over here and i'm gonna make it 90 like this so i will get this zoom main effect throughout my animation and at six seconds i am going to press n so now if you see this animation we will get something like this so yep this is how you can create reddit logo animation which is quite simple with the help of adobe photoshop and adobe after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned